this point, we have seen how to create a GET request and a POST request. Now you can achieve a GET request from your browser, right? You can directly go and you can paste this link. The problem starts when you have a POST request because this is where you have to mention uh, the POST. Because see, when you talk about your browser, we have your browser supports GET request. Your browser supports POST request. But maybe in future, we're working on PUT request, maybe DELETE request. In that scenario, we have to use some sort of client which will send all this type of request. Again, you can use JavaScript here, but then we don't want to write any of the code. So I will be using a, a tool called as Postman. Again, we have seen how to use this tool and how this tool is made, or I mean, how to download this tool and how to make it open. So let's try to run this code. So what I will do is I'll first of all run this code just to make sure that everything is working fine. So I will click on this and click on run button. So run on server. Uh, again, it will take some time to start the server and set up the things. Okay, so as you can see, our server started and this is your request. But again, I don't want to use a web request here. I mean, I don't want to use browser, I want to use Postman. And in here, I will send a request for aliens. This is a GET request. I will say GET request and send. As you can see, we got the data. But now this time I want to, I want to go for a POST request, right? Now, let me, let me just verify which type of, what type of request I'm sending. So you can see I'm sending a, a XML request. Now, if you want to send a POST request, again, we have to use uh, XML, right? Because if you can see, we have an alien where we have written XML root element. So that means we are expecting a XML resource. Let me go back to my Postman and I want to create a new object. So I will, I will just copy this so that I will be having some sort of template with me. So I will copy this and now, what I will do is I will go for a POST request. I will say POST, but this time you have to send a request to for aliens, I mean aliens slash alien. And if I click on send, you can see we got an error. It says unsupported media type and then all those things. That uh, For that, you have to mention the header, what type of data you are sending. So the data you are sending is not JSON, but XML, because you are supporting only XML. And when you, when you send send now, uh, again, it says bad request because see, you are sending a request, but you're not sending data, right? You should be sending data as well. So in that case, you have to go to body and you have to mention XML and that page of XML. What I have to send now is I'll be sending the ID as 105. Then I'll be using a name here called as Hirsch. And let me just use a points as let's say 40 points. Now with this value, let me send a request and you can see we are getting this, this uh, data back. And if you can verify it on the server, oh, on the server side, we are getting this weird output because I forgot to put two string method here, my bad, because to print the values, we should be having two string method as well, right? Because otherwise it will print the hash code. So let me say gen gen generate two string and click on okay. Now as you can see, we got our two string method there and let's get back, oh, first of all, you have to rerun the code. Uh, it's already done. Let's go to Postman once again and click on send now. You can see we got our data which is coming from the client, right? Again, you can write JDBC code here and you can save this data in the database. The important thing is now you know how to send a POST request. Now just to make a quick recap what we have done, if I open that and oh, where's the Postman? So if I open a Postman here, as you can see, we have, we are sending data. So you have to make sure that whenever you send a uh, post data on the server, you have to select post from here. You have to mention the URL. Again, you have to mention the alien as well. Uh, then you have to say click send, but before sending, you have to also send the data, right? So I'm using a raw data here. In raw data, you have to type your XML and then you can specify what type of data you're sending. So you're sending an XML type data, not the JSON. And in headers, you have to also mention what type of data you're sending. So that's XML and click on send. You can see you're sending your data back to the server. So that's how you send a POST request. But then how do we use, uh, how, maybe, you, maybe you want to do something else now. Maybe you want to uh, send a PUT request, how to update data, how to delete data. Again, we'll be saying everything in the subsequent tutorial. So I hope you're enjoying this session. Uh, do click on the like button and do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.